trips that you plan for the next whole week Been too long for a n- so cheap And your flex so deep, your sex so deep You got it, girl, you got it Hey guys, what's going on? So it's pup box time, here we are Right these, here we are With another pup box video This is October's uh, pup box I've had this sitting in the garage for days apparently <laughs> um i definitely could have got this out way sooner but i just like totally slipped my mind that this was out in the garage so you know but look we're not going to talk about the fact that i'm always late with these boxes we're going to talk about the fact that i've been consistent with them and i've actually kept up with them for a whole year now because now i had like a bad record with that at first but here we are guys it's like <laughs> it's 1 30 in the morning um and we are up so let's just get right into the box pretty sure it should be halloween themed because this is october you know box but we shall see huh just see what's inside so i'm just opening it up as usual bill has a pup box toy in his mouth right now he's running to wrap it so here we go this is what the inside looks like and here the little insert and this one says gobble till you wobble <laughs> so that's what that looks like it says gobble till you wobble grown pup is uh stage three so i don't know um really honestly i can't even tell you like if they're still giving me puppy stuff for him or if they're giving me like you know teenage because <laughs> it's a teenager he's a teenager he's a little teenage boy so I don't know if they're giving me that for him or if they're giving me grown man stuff. I can't tell you. <laughs> um, but it says, the holidays, be almost read it too. It says, the holidays are a time for fun, family, friends, and good food. To keep the stress at a minimum for both uh, you and your pooch, we have some tips to keep your pup on its best behavior. By being prepared, we bet you both will have a possum holiday season. My dogs are never on their best behavior, so that's just out. <laughs> it says, who's ready to pate? You ready to pate, Theo? Um, it says, we are, but first find out if the pate is pet friendly. See if the host is cool with a four-legged um, guest in case anyone has allergies. Even if the host has a pup, their pup might not get along with other doggos, so it's always good to ask. So yeah, who just brings a dog to us? A function you know <laughs> um if you're having a potty at home your pup will obviously be there <laughs> but should they make an appearance well it depends if they're sensitive struggle with social anxiety it might be best to confine them to their safe space ideally some are quiet and away from the festivities keep them occupied with their favorite toys or a long-lasting treat definitely a good tip um my dog, y'all know how Teddy is. Teddy's just Mr. Grumpy Man. Like I said, he's hit or miss. So I usually keep my dogs away when um, people come over because they act nuts. <laughs> if your pup plans on mingling with the guests, you guys can see like he is just lit right now and it's 1.30 in the morning. He needs to like tone it all the way down because after this, it's bedtime. <laughs> um, so it says, if your pup plans on mingling with the guests, start so slicing them two to three weeks. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, no, no, no. So yeah, it says if your pups plan on mingling with the guests, start socializing them two to three weeks beforehand. The day of the party, make sure they get plenty of exercise early in the day to turn off extra energy. Yes, to them outside. <laughs> or feed them before your guest shows up. Once guests arrive, remind them. Hey, remind them which foods are dangerous for pups. Chocolate. Oh, I didn't know onions or raisins. I knew chocolate was, but onions and raisins, and raisins as some people might not be aware. So it's just um, some little things here. This says peanut butter and pumpkin pup treats. So it's just pup treats for your uh, doggos for the holidays. Um, but well, bless you. <laughs> Light camera paparazzi. Um, this is just taking some photos. Here are some tips to get your pup's attention for that perfect uh, photo. Keep it short and sweet, distraction free. Um, bring on the bribery, get your doggo's attention, stay low to the ground for headshots, 
try capturing some candid action shots if they don't sit still so just you know get them in the moment and then yeah so it's just that i'll let you guys take a quick glance at it i'll let you take a glance at this one so you guys can see this i don't know if you guys can zoom in or not on it but this is just the ingredients for a treat okay <laughs> so let's get into the actual oh no he took it no no teddy teddy took it let's get into the goodies of the box okay so have no clue what this is um yeah teddy took that so you guys hear me in the back let me see what this is Red barn cow ear. I don't know. I don't think my dogs too much like these types of things. Here, you want this? You licked it. Do you want it or no? Yeah, go on, take it. He took it, so I don't know. He took that. <laughs> um, pumpkin and honey recipe chew sticks. Small chews. So focus. We got these. They're pumpkin chews. The ingredients are pea flour, chickpea, where did you put that thing at? <laughs> chickpea, pumpkin, coconut glycerin, typical flour, brewer's yeast, honey cinnamon, ginger root, and sorbic acid. Um, so this is supposed to use by October 18th of 2022. And it's 28 cake house per treat. So let's open it up and see what it's like. Oh, this is a nice um, bag. I like how this feels. Hey, you're gonna have to get out of the bed, son. You cannot leave that treat up here in the bed. Just letting you know. I'm just letting him know that that has to come out of the bed. Wow, Teddy is really having a good day with the toy that he stole. I'm gonna send the names. I'm trying to open this up, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. <laughs> While we open this, I'm gonna just cut this. Tell me what you're looking at, son. Go back to your toy. He heard a bag and he just had to look. You guys remember in the last pup box video, I got the fishy treats. They love those. Like I literally give them one like every day that I'm home. Oh, you want to see what this is? Ooh, it smells really good too. So this is how big they are in the sense that they're small. So this is the treat. Here, you want it? Yeah, but don't leave that in the bed. Here, Teddy, you want a treat? Here, son. Here, you can take it. Do you want it? There you go. And Teddy took it. Theo, he got a hoard of stuff in the bed now. Get that off the bed. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. And then I got this little bandana thing for them. Which I never put these on to pups, so I just put that away. Teddy is mad because Theo, Theo, I don't even know why you're down there. He's trying to take Teddy's treat. Now he's trying to get back in bed. Don't go over there and start a fight. Yeah. I'm just going to fold this up so I can put it away. Um, then you got this. It's like a little ball, a little basketball. to hump it in the bed okay he went and got his treat yeah perfect <laughs> can you guys see him behind me with this treat yeah looks like a little ball Pass it on the floor well teddy uh dropped his treat and everything for that and then we got these boo bites made with real liver and sprinkles what what is it so this is what this bag looks like. If you got it, haunt it. <laughs> uh, this says fly into Halloween time with something beautiful, delicious. <laughs> Served with a fry and sprinkle with a light or pup box blue bites or awesome addition to your pup kin's pantry. Baked to perfection with real liver and sprinkles. The savory yet mildly sweet treat is a great training reward when working on your Goodest boy or girl's trick to spooky season and beyond. Um, and this is a 22 K cow per treat, and this is a pickle pup box brand. Um, so 
when I say pet co pet box or anything like that in these videos, it means like you can typically find the item just on Petco, um, or you know the pet box website. You don't like have to go to the outside source. It's just there. You go to the website and then they have it there. You can purchase a single item. So that's what I mean by when I say that. Did you finish that other thing? You finished that? Oh, good boy, huh? This is a good boy. He finished his treat. Now he wants this. So let's see what this looks like. It says it has sprinkles and the liver is soft. It looks like a little cake. So this is what this looks like. Not that, <coughs> not that big here. And Teddy's busy with his other treat. So oh, and then hold on. Let me grab the other toy that um they took. Hold on one second. Let me grab it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this. Is the toy? It's all ew, it's wet because he was playing with it. It's like a soup pop look, and then their legs are sticking out. How cute is that, right? And then little guy comes out in the side, and it's that Teddy loves this um material, he likes to steal water bottles <laughs> and crunch them up. But yeah, so this is what this is. I'm just gonna cut this off as usual. You guys already know how this goes. We cut off the tags around here. No tags. No tags. Okay. And so yeah, this is <laughs> Teddy's looking at me. He's like, why you got my toy? <laughs> so yeah, this is this. It's so cute. I love it. But yeah, guys. <laughs> so yeah, that's the pup. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so that's the pup box, huh? You came to say bye. That's the pup box, guys. The yo came to say bye. He said happy holidays. You didn't say happy holidays? Aww. He said happy holidays to everybody. Teddy's happy holidays too, but he's busy. Um, hopefully, we can get November's pup box sometime, but we shall see. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with these pup boxes. Another thing, now that it's um, November, it's going to be December, and the year of pup box is almost up, I'm trying to decide if I'm just going to incorporate pup box opening into my weekly vlogs, or if I'm just going to continue um, just the separate video, you know, the separate video things. I'm trying to decide what to do. Let me know in the comments um, if you guys like seeing the, the pup box videos on their own or if it's just like a quick unboxing or opening or something i should incorporate into my weekly <laughs> into my weekly vlog you guys the dogs are just acting nuts it's something i should incorporate into my weekly vlogs um you know once the whole year of me doing pup boxes has surpassed guys it is too late for that i have to go guys like they're just clearly just lit so i i have to go have a good night guys and See you in the next pup box. Bye. Body girl, you got yeah. Pretty little thing, you gotta pick it now. You wildin'. You just took it off the line, no mileage. Way hitting you the DM, looking violent. Talking while you come around and I'm silent. Flew the Cooper 17, no guidance. You be staying low, but you know.